Welcome to today's guided meditation session presented by the Contemplative Study Centre here at the University of Melbourne. My name is Amy Bajera and I'm the Engagement Manager for the Centre. We would like to respectfully acknowledge the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation who are the traditional owners of the land on which many of us are residing. We pay our respect to their elders, past, present and emerging. We are delighted to welcome our teacher, Alana Marsh. Alana is a Merriam woman with Irish and PNG strands in her life tapestry, a Waiapa practitioner since 2016 and Waiapa trainer of new practitioners since 2021. Alana is also a regenerative system resetter. If you do have any questions, please place them in the Q&A and Alana will address many of these as possible at the end of the session. So with that, we'd like to welcome Alana. Thank you, Amy. Lovely to be with you. Um, I'd like to add a layer to the acknowledgement to country that you so beautifully provided um, by inviting everybody to send a vibration of love, healing and gratitude to our collective mother, Mother Earth. It's because of her that we can do uh, what we do it's because of her that we can love, that we can laugh, that we can feel the beautiful sunshine that's happening here in Melbourne. Uh, at the moment, we have the perfect conditions for life enabled by the interplay of so many elements. I'd also like to invite you to join me in paying some respects and gratitude to traditional custodians all across the continent of Australia that lived in harmony and reciprocity with that collective mother for thousands and thousands of years prior to colonization, who continue to do so today. And it's because of their stewardship, that relationship that they had with all that was around them, the earth, each other, the non-human kin, that we inherit an amazing potential as contemporary custodians of this earth as well. I'm on land that Woiwurrung speakers nurtured. Uh, so Wurundjeri country, it's part of the Kulin Nation here in Melbourne and it is such a beautiful day. We have uh, the sun coming through from above. We have birds uh, in the trees. We have much to be grateful for. And one of the things that really excites me about Waiapo is the opportunity for us as contemporary custodians to lean more into that relationship with the earth, to acknowledge the interplay between a whole range of different elements and that we contribute to as well. So for people that don't know much about Waiapo, I just wanted to um, tell you a little bit about that. It's a wellness modality that allows the transmission of intergenerational well-being, vitality and vibrance um, that's been birthed here in Australia uh, by Jamie Thomas and Sarah Jones. It's their biological love child. And it looks at that relationship, that reciprocity, that stewardship that we have of the earth as the enabling platform for mind, body, spirit, wellness. So it draws on ancient wisdoms for thousands and thousands of years. Uh, Jamie is a Gunai Gunachmara man. And Waiapa means connect um, from around the Warrnambool area in the Western district of Victoria, so west of Melbourne. And Warak means country, which is a, it's um, in the Gunai language. Um, so the other strand or one of the other strands of Jamie, Jamie's lineage and I think, you know, there's a recognition there that we have this amazing uh, privilege. We have a need to weave together uh, new ways of being in the world. And when we can draw on those ancient wisdoms, draw on the strengths that we have from our own cultural context, our own backgrounds, our own relationships and our own connections, creates that very fertile space for regeneration and for moving forward uh, much more in tune with the natural cycles of life, potentially allowing us to you know, decolonize our continent to some degree. 
and also allows our future generations, uh, you know, that opportunity for life. I know that the Glasgow uh, United Nations gathering is happening very soon. And so there's so much, um, because we are so, so mobile in life today, so much happening in the world. And this moment is just an opportunity to slow down, connect in with that country, with that earth that might be beneath your feet. And for us to uh, be energized, to be nourished, and to consider what our contribution uh, might be in that harmonious balancing of wholeness that can come through reflective practice. So I'm very grateful to the Center for Contemplative Studies for bringing Waiapa um, to you today. And um, if you joined us last week, you would know that we use the first three elements of Waiapa uh, to guide and inform our meditation. Today, uh, we're going to use the fourth element so in Waiapa, we draw on 14 elements and, um, you know, sometimes we do some amazing stuff with just one of those elements, but we very much look at the interplay between all 14. They're all connected and we remind uh, people through this reset opportunity with Waiapa. So we have a movement sequence. So we have that somatic reset. We use guided visualizations, meditation, and we also have some important messages and reminders for people. Uh, you know, we tend to get a little bit busy just living life and we can forget some of that um, connection that our, that our survival is reliant on. We sometimes forget that, you know, we're one of the most recent additions as a species on this planet and she's been here for four and a half billion years and, you know, holds so many stories and um, Waiapa provides us an opportunity to reconnect into those, some of those stories and for us to also think about what our contribution will be to the story going forward. So, so our fourth element is the earth and we'll be focusing in on that uh, today. And I'll be prompting you to think about what your contribution is to that story. As I look out my window into the sunshine, I, um, I see a paperbark tree that was um, actually cut down some time ago. And you, so you can see the trunk and you can see the many, many layers of story for that paperbark tree um, from that outside. It's a really beautiful sight. And so I want you to be able to expand your thinking as we go into this meditation uh, into the stories that might be held within country, so within the earth. And, you know, it can be a really big, um, really big, it's really big. You know, that idea of deep time is, is really big. So we're not looking to overwhelm you in any way, but we're just wanting you to expand that consciousness out a little bit further. So just guiding you a little bit around um, what we're going to be doing for the next few, few moments that we're together. So around that interplay of elements that go to create the earth and goes to create life as we know it. And just easing yourself, just gently lowering yourself into some of those stories and prompting yourself to maybe think about, reflect on what your contribution will be to that story of the earth. But let's begin by drawing in nourishment with the breath and exhaling out gratitude. So we recognize that sacred contract that you have with the breath, connecting you to those photosynthesizing plants so inhaling that nourishment, extending that gratitude out with that breath. And then with that physical vessel that you're navigating life with, I just want you to rock it gently from side to side, grounding yourself into place.
And through that breath, that gravity from the earth, that's grounding you to where you are. I'm going to invite you to open your awareness to your connection to the earth. Just feeling into your own connection. What country, earth, soil. What's that connection that's coming through for you in this moment? inviting you to ground that connection with somewhere on the planet where you are feeling peace, love, acceptance, vibrancy, connecting to that place that you love. opening up that heart space to this place that you love. Inhaling nourishment, exhaling gratitude back connected to the breath, to this place. What sounds reach your ears from this place?
What smells reach your nose? What sights are your eyes feasting on? What do you savour when you taste this place? What are the textures, the touch, the feelings you experience through your skin from this place? My invitation to you now is to build your awareness, your spatial awareness of how you are located in that space. Orienting self through time and space to that place somewhere on country.
how that place may have looked, felt at different points in time. Sitting with and feeling into the geology, what is beneath the surface of the earth, the movements over time, the magma layer, the layers and layers of vibration from humans and our non-human non kin that have gone to shape that country the stories embedded in land Drawing up through that earth, through the layers, the middens, the bones, the stories, returning to the surface of the earth, back to that place or places that you love how you see them, how you experience them today. My invitation to you is to consider the interplay be between all the different parts of that ecosystem. Just opening up that heart space with awe and wonder to marvel at that interplay.
through this quiet observation, we come to see patterns. We move towards wholeness. my final prompt that you may choose to take up is to sit with to feel with your contribution to the earth to country Leaning in gently with self to more deeply understand your connection, your contribution into that interplay of energy.
feeling that love, that abundance from our Goldilocks planet and all the beautiful places that are held dear by the humans and all the other species, the waterways, the sun, the air, the breath in a dynamic, life-sustaining bubble of love, feeling that moving through your body. Going to invite you to wiggle your fingers, your toes, to open your eyes if you had closed them. Wiggling those hips again where your body is contacting, making contact with anything and returning to the space that you're in, loved up from country. And if anyone had anything that came through for them, in, I'd love you to post it in the chat around what you might understand your contribution to be. Um, or if you have any questions. Thank you, Alana. If anyone does have any questions, please pop them through. You might have answered a lot of questions over the last few weeks, Alana. Well, I could add, you know, that um, we had many different language groups across this continent prior to colonization. And there are some universal sort of understandings of how to be in the world that connect them all. Um, then they're connected through song lines um, as well. And there is some amazing work underway to reconnect um, people back to that peace, that love, that, um, you know, living, living within the capacities of the finite um, resources of Mother Earth. And it's a, yeah, really profound, beautiful, um, opportunity, you know, and I think, you know, there's some amazing stuff that's happening in lots of different places and spaces that is all contributing to that. And, you know, we would love to see people, you know, lean more into what their contribution might be around that, which was, you know, a bit of a focus for today. But were there a couple of things in the chat or? We've got a lovely contribution from Robin saying, thanks, Alana. I got that maybe one of my contributions could be replanting many European plants in my garden with natives. And Alex has said, thank you. It's a beautiful reminder to consciously nurture country and all the species that interact with her. And we've got a question from Hi Sue, which is if we contribute to the world through our positive inner experience, do we also contaminate the world by holding negative emotions and thoughts? I think that um, negativity should be released from the body. I think, you know, there's a lot of um, intergenerational trauma that's um, passed on. And I often, um, you know, we all, there's a whole range of different ways to release stuff. And I think there's a lot of medical evidence that's also showing that, you know, it can create trauma that's trapped in the body. And, you know, nature reminds us about um, the ebb and flow of natural cycles. And release is definitely such a part of that. And so, you know, I when we do the movement for the earth element, we often, um, or we always, when we do that element, we sink our hands down to the magma layer and we bring lava forth, um, under, you know, understanding that the tectonic plates have shaped the planet. And so we have this moment of feeling very omnipotent to, you know, bring this lava forward. But I often imagine negativity um, that I have. I One of my ways of releasing that, and I think everybody needs to find their own ways of releasing stuff, is just to imagine it being sent down to that magma layer and that it being vanquished in a little wisp of white smoke that, you know, it's not doing any um, any harm on anyone else or any, any um, body. Because I think, you know, sometimes we can get so um, caught up in what's going on for us. We 
unintentionally or sometimes intentionally, we pass on negativity. So that ability to let it go is, um, you know, really important. So I, I would encourage you to find a way that me is meaningful for you. And, you know, some people, um, you know, write it down on paper and put it into a fire. There's a whole there's a whole range of things. I know some people imagine it floating down a stream, you know, on a lily pad and that it's, you know, sort of leaving. But, you know, I like that idea of it actually being vanquished um, in that little wisp of white smoke, that it's not, um, you know, not potentially going to ping around. Mm. and be passed on to other people but everybody everybody lands on it individually I think what you know what's meaningful for you we have a question from Rachel that was beautiful Alana thank you I feel a sense of responsibility for our country I feel gratitude for the contribution I have benefited from in being nurtured and shaped by country I feel called to tread lightly and nurture in a reciprocal way firstly by tuning in attending to but also consciously in the decisions that I make and Rachel's yes, also said, I'd love to learn about the 14 elements. So we will direct you, Rachel, where to where to do that. Alana, we've got a link of yours that will circulate after this session to everyone who's registered. Thanks, Amy. Thank you, Alana, and thanks to our audience for joining us. Um, the Contemplative Study Centre is pleased to host these sessions for the community. Um, we hope that you can help us out by completing our feedback form. Um, your feedback does mean a lot to us and we hope to see you at our next session. We just realised Alana's only got two more sessions with us, so we hope to see you at both of those. Thank you, Alana. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, everybody. See you, everyone. Look forward to maybe seeing you face-to-face -face one day soon. <laughs> that would be great. Thank you. <laughs>